So maybe the best answer is that we need lenses with a power of negative 0.25 diopters. Or I think you could get full credit here by saying lenses with a focal length of negative 398 centimeters. But it's good that you remembered diopters are inverse meters. So it's OK to say the focal length is in centimeters. But if you're going to translate it into diopters, you got to go into meters first. That's a common mistake. And powers do have signs. So it's important to put in the right sign uh, over here. OK. Um, so you, you remembered the hard part. Um, here, which was that for a corrective lens that's giving you normal vision, you put the object at the normal far point, normal far point is infinity, and, um, or the near point, it was the other type, and then you want the image to be at the actual uh, far point or near point. Um, this is the part that really is hard for people to remember, the sign here. So we have to get in the habit of always putting in those signs. Yeah. Okay. Try yeah, sure. So, if the person's near point is centimeters from the eye instead of the normal 25. How close to the eye can the, this person see clearly with this lens? What did you say? Just mm -hmm. if a person's near point is at 20 instead of the normal 25, how close to the eye can this person see? Oh, okay, well, with the lens. And I said without. without <laughs> yeah, without the answer would be 20, right? So with, yeah. they just said 25. Uh, not necessarily, because gla um, these glasses were designed to turn, uh, take the, the actual far point and let them see at the normal far point. They weren't designed to let them see at the normal near point. So there's no reason to think that this person is going to have a normal near point here. By the way, does, does this person have very good near vision or very bad near vision? They have. Oh, they're talking about the same person. Oh, yeah, that's important. Yeah. If, oh. this, if the person's, yeah. Oh, so this person's my well, They can't see far. Right. So they can see. But they also can't see close. Why, why do you say that? Do they have a very good near point or a very bad near point? Are their near points even better? Yeah, you want a small near point, yeah. right? You want to be able to see things as close as possible to your face. Remember, the normal near point is 25 centimeters. It's even better if they can see 20 centimeters from the eye. So this person's normal vision is bad far, but good near. And now we want to figure out what's the effect of the glasses on their near vision. So we need to find a way to attack that. Um, well, we already have a new focal point for the glasses, um, and then we have what their near point. Is. So we want the. So it's, we're trying to find. That's a good question. What are we trying to find? In terms of the lens mirror equation, what are we trying to find? How, how close to the eye can the person see? Oh, we're trying to find this. Because they're asking, when they say, how close to the eye can the person see clearly, they're meaning, you know, what they mean is, how close to the eye can we put the object? Yeah. And they can still see clearly. The real question is, how close to the eye can the object be placed? And they can still see clearly. So. Pretty much. It's always a good idea to label the question with a question mark. So it's good that you were trying to figure out what they were asking for, but it turns out they're looking for S and not for S prime. What's the, maybe it's a little side, but when they said that the S prime is also the, we, we said it, that it's also the distance of the eye if you don't have to figure out the glasses? Well, that's a different S prime. So right here, this is the, um, Right now, we have two different lenses. So there's actually two different lens mirror equations. There's a lens mirror equation for the glasses, and there's a whole separate lens mirror equation for the lens of the eye. It turns out that to solve this particular problem, all we need is the lens mirror equation for the glasses. Um, so for some problems, though, you need the lens mirror equation 
of the lens of the eye. Well, for clear vision, where is the lens of the eye supposed to put the image? On the retina. On the retina. So, for clear vision, what would S prime be? Uh, the distance of the eye. It would be the diameter of the eye. That's right. For clear vision, S prime would be the diameter, but that's the S prime for the lens of the eye equation. It's the lens of the eye that's supposed to create an image that's on the retina. Mm -hmm. So, if we were working with the equation for the lens of the eye, we would have to do this. Uh, it turns out that this problem, we don't need to focus on the lens of the eye. All we need to focus on is the glasses. One clue for that is they didn't tell us the diameter of the eye. So there's no way we can really use this equation for the lens of the eye, because we don't have the information that we need. So that's an important point to clarify in your notes. You were saying, G isn't the diameter of the eye S prime. Well, the answer is, it's the S prime for the lens of the eye equation. But it's not the S prime for the glasses. This, this is in Tim Fing's other lens. We want to put the image at that person's near point. So exactly, because the whole point is for clear vision. So you want to put the image at 20 centimeters. Right. And then we have the focal point. Right. The glasses. Yeah, that's good. All right, yeah, now you're getting it. And it's. Or is it not? Yeah, it is. It's also for sure. Okay. And then we have the negative. Okay, before you crank that out, let's talk about these numbers. But it's good that you're putting in the signs. So yeah, we want to know where can we put the object and still have clear vision. Well then, to have clear vision, the image has to be at the actual near point. Draw the near point in your picture. Oh, we lost the picture, but draw their near point in your picture. Whoops. Um, so somewhere. Just put in the dot for the near point. That's fine. And now draw the 20 centimeter distance. The 20 centimeter distance is from where to where? Oh, from the eye. Mm -hmm. oh, a... Then you subtract. Then you subtract. Yeah, that sounds right. So yeah, what should S prime have actually been? That's right, it's that same trap that we saw in the previous part. Because this S prime is, uh, remember this is the glasses equation. So this S prime should be the distance from the point to the glasses. Well, that distance over here is 20 minus 2, or 18 centimeters. So we're avoiding some of the traps. So we put in the signs, that's good. But we still have the trap with the distances here. Uh, the distance of the near point from the lens of the eye is 20, but the glasses are 2 centimeters from the lens of the eye. So the distance of this near point from the glasses is 18. And that's what we have to put in here. All right, now we're ready for the calculator. That came out positive mathematically, which is good, because we would expect a positive object distance. What's the units on that? Right, so you just solve this algebraically. So now what? What's the answer? How close to the eye can this person see with the lens at 18? At this distance? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, you were saying, so the answer is? Is not the answer. I did, I'm sorry, I just didn't hear you. The answer is? 18, 45. Draw that in your uh, diagram. It's <laughs> definitely not. OK, so then 18 now is the distance between all well, of it's Now it's the distance between the, the glasses and the nearest object we can see. Right. Oh, 
much now you have to add to. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. question specifically said, how close to the eye can the person see? They didn't say how close to the glasses. So we have to answer that 